Inspired by Faraday's wheel, Josef Plateau in Brussels and Simon Stampfer in Vienna invent the phenakistoscope independently of one another in 1832. Stampfer called it the stroboscope. In England, it was known as the phantoscope. This disc demonstrates continuous movement for the first time. Comparable to film because it uses minimal differences between the images to create the illusion of movement. In 1833, Horner invented the dedoleum, later called the zoetrope or wheel of life. Here, the phases of movement are also seen in the form of an infinite loop through the slits. We see an image, then no image, and then a slightly different second image, producing the illusion of movement in the mind of the viewer. In 1877, Emile Renault built his praxinoscope. We see the images in the mirrors. The function of the dark phase between the slits is taken over by the angle at which the mirrors are set up. 